Okay, guys, I want to talk to you about which one should you buy if you are using Logic Pro X between this one or this one. And what, what I like and what I don't like. So in my opinion, Icon Platform Build is okay for the money. But the, the build of Feather 8, I like it more. The faders... Just my opinion, I feel the Feather 8 is a winner. The buttons. Feather 8, Feather Port 8, much more better. And the colors are better for my eyes. The color on this unit is very loud. Very distracting for me sometimes. Over here the color is more gentle and I like it more. Now the main thing we buy this thing is for our mixing experience, right? For this, 100 times better, always better than the PreSonus Feather 8 is the screen. Because of the angle. Feather 8 port, the angle is like flat. And you cannot view the channel name at all when you are working. Other things, it's fine. The only things that I don't like is the platform M Plus. They could have done more like by adding few more buttons, but they opt not to, to add, which is like quite main functions. They want us to buy another more unit, which is this white. It, it will take your space. But if you have space, it's fine. I wish there should be like at least few more buttons like automation functions like latch, right is there, touch. I just think if touch is there, I'm happy with it. But it's not there. So I solved my problem by using another MIDI controller. This one, the Novation, which is not on the screen at the moment. This one. And I have assigned the touch to this and send for send one, send two, and send three. Then it works perfect. But I wish they had it here. Now on the fader, I think I've spoken. And let's see what happens when we select the channels. So when we select channels, you can see that. Okay. So when you select channels here, you see this, this thing select also on this. So it works fine equally. No comments, no bad comments, no negative comments. It works like very fast. Whatever channel I jump to. So over here, one, two, three, four, fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth. So it's same, same line, line up, same here, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this thing is working in Mackie protocol. It's same. The, the text on the prisoners is sharper than on the icon, but icon is more easy to read. It's bigger. So my biggest complaint is that icon you can use only this. Over here you have edit plugins parameter, which I never use because it's too difficult, but it's there. It's there, but I don't know for me still my mouse is quicker i use it for only mixing purpose while working i set levels with this that's it guys so if you want to buy you can buy anything but for me in logic pro x i bought this because i like the screen that's it 
and the pan button the pan knob is fine on prisoners you have to use this button the pan over here and then you use this as panning over here if you prefer to use the what do i say the fader for pan you have to flip I don't know, then somehow it will become panning. And this is the bank, you can go by it. So, no regrets on buying anything, but I just wish it had more, more controls because of the space and the functions they could have put but they wanted us to buy another platform b which is like very big or i think if they made a smaller version of platform b then i might consider buying that but to buy the full size there are more buttons that i will never use it doesn't make sense for me of now okay and now let's go to the Presonus Studio One. Which one is good? <laughs> 